Hey everybody, Coach Jason here from Top of the Line Running. Hope you're all doing well. So we started the series doing milestone stuff right now. Okay, we started with a sub eight minute mile, then a sub at seven minute mile. Today we're going to talk about some workouts to help you achieve a sub six minute mile. And then we're going to go to 5:30, five minutes, and then work our way down to four minutes. Okay. After that, we're going to do 800 meter milestone workouts. We're going to do two mile or three K milestone workouts and five K milestone workouts. If you're a runner or a coach and you're not sub to this channel, make sure you do that right now before you leave. Okay. My email is blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com. So if you have questions about anything I put out here or any one of my other 500 plus videos, reach out to me. Okay. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to help. Okay. Now, let's get to this the meat and potatoes of this sub six. Okay. The event equivalents. 3K is <clears throat> equivalent is 11.34, which is about 6.11 to 6.12 per mile, or 3.50 to 3.51 per K. 5K equivalent is 19.57, or 6.24 to 6.25 per mile, 3.58 to 3.59 per K. What that suggests is if you're looking to run a sub six minute mile, and I have things geared towards a 5.55. Then these are the types of equivalents you should be able to run at 3K and 5K in that ballpark. Okay. And one of the rules of thumb is if you are closer to your 400 and 800 <clears throat> equivalents than you are the 3K and the 5K, then that's that's a sign that you need to enhance your aerobic development. On the flip side, if you're closer to the 3K and the 5K than you are the 400 and 800, that's, an, that's a sign to improve your speed. Okay. How do you know the equivalence? I actually did a video on this channel. I'd encourage you to take a look at it, okay, on what testing yourself at a mile okay, and when to test yourself and what your capabilities are for 3K, 5K, 800, and 400. And everything is bro broken down already. It's all calculated. So take a look at that video. It will give you a lot of intel. If you're a coach or an athlete, you will get a lot of intel in that video, okay, which will go help you go a long way towards not only making yourself better, but helping your athletes run faster. Now, let's get to some actual workouts, okay? And again, going back to this, <clears throat> your 3K, okay? Let's just say the 6, 11, 6, 12, you can do three, you can do 800 meter repeats at 305 to 306 here with a two minute recovery, working towards six of them. Over time, you build towards six of them, okay? Everything's a gradual progress, okay? And you can also do 350 to 351 per K. You're looking to do three or four of those. And you take a three minute recovery there. Okay. That those are workouts. K's, those are 800. You could also do 400 meter workouts. Okay. Which are essentially uh, 137 to 138 per rep. And you take one minute recovery. One minute recovery. You build towards eight or 10 of those over time. Those are 3K pace workouts. Move in the 5K pace, you could do 800s as well at 311 to 312 here. Okay, you could do building towards, I uh, take a two minute recovery, I would say a 5K pace, but you can build towards seven to eight of these. You can go up to four miles worth of volume at 5K pace over time. Okay, just like you can go up to three miles worth of volume at 3K pace over time as well. That's for the more strength-oriented runners, but you don't have to go to that volume. You can you can stick to the 3K volume. You can stick to the 5K volume. Okay, so 800s at 311 and 312 with a two-minute recovery at 5K pace. Or you could do 400s at 136, right? 135 to 136 per rep. Okay, that's – and again, just like the 3K pace, 132 to 133, 400s. Here is 135 to 136 per rep. But here you run rest every three every, every minute, meaning you can you can either go every minute, which <laughs> limits your rest for to a short amount of time, or you can do 45 seconds recovery. And you build towards 12 to 14 of those reps over time. You can get to that point with 45 seconds recovery, you are on good pace. You can also do five or six times a thousand and 358 to 359 with a two-minute recovery. So if you're doing Ks at 5K pace, it's two-minute recovery. If you're doing Ks at 3K pace, it's a three-minute recovery. So there's your 3K pace workouts. There's your 5K pace workouts. Now, moving on. Tempo runs, you're building towards seven minutes to 701 per mile. You're building towards 20 minutes over time. Now, if you're a high school runner, 20 to 20 minutes. Some folks, 25 minutes. If you're a college runner, you're building from anywhere from 20 to 25 to 30 minutes. Because you're training for longer races, especially particularly in cross country. 
Okay, but the, the year the goal pace is seven minutes to seven oh one. And again, if you, I would encourage you to watch another video. I'm going to go back to this. There's another video I have on this channel: how to build your tempo runs towards 20, 25, 30 minutes in pieces. You want to know how to do that. And right now in the summer, it's a perfect time to practice building your tempo run, so you can transition to cross country. Okay, this is one of the important parts of training, just like threshold training is. And we'll get into that in a second. That'll help set you up for success short-term and long-term and make your harder workouts, your faster workouts become more manageable and, and makes it also makes it easier for you to move up in distance too. So seven minutes to 701 per mile. And then on the back end, you can do five times 100 meter stride, turn, turn, going from stride to sprint. With a jog equal recovery, you can take a four to five minute after the tempo and then you do some accelerations. That teaches you how to accelerate when your legs are tired. Now, Threshold reps. This is basically eight to ten seconds per mile faster. As you can see, six fifty to six fifty one per mile. The threshold miles. Okay, four fourteen to four fifteen are threshold Ks, one thousands, and three twenty four to three twenty five are eight hundred meter reps at threshold pace. Okay, building towards the same amount of volume as you do at, at the five K pace. Okay, so you can do eight hundred seven to eight of these. <clears throat> okay. And or you can do 70 to 7 to 8, 5 to 6 times a thousand, 3 to 4 times a mile. And again, this it gives you the opportunity to go over distance and you take a one minute recovery with these threshold reps. I encourage you to start at the shorter reps and then work your way up to the longer distances. That'll be a telltale sign of your improved fitness. You're spending more time in the threshold zone. So there goes your tempo, there goes your threshold to go along with your 3K pace and 5K pace. And lastly, a multi pace workout. This puts you in a position to, again, Move down or move up. What do I mean by that? Well, you're going to have some strength runners who are going to move down to the mile. You're going to have some speed runners who are going to move up to the mile. This puts you in a position to address all different types of paces. So you can run a 1K at 358 to 359, 5K pace. Take a four-minute recovery. Then you can do an 800, 305 to 306, which is that 3K pace, right? Uh, you take a three-minute recovery. Then you do a 600. Essentially a mile pace, 210 to 211. You take a two-minute recovery, and then you finish with a 400 at 126, which is essentially about 800-meter pace. And you've gotten progressively faster throughout the workout as the reps have gotten shorter. And you went from 5K pace to 3K pace to mile pace down 800-meter pace. Put you in a position to do multi-pace workout. So hope you found this helpful. Hit that thumbs up if you did. These are workouts that you can help do and that you can do to help you achieve a sub-six-minute mile. Okay, and um, to next up, we're going to do sub 530 and then sub five minutes, and we're going to work our way down. So stay tuned, gang. Have a great summer. Have a great season. I'll talk to you next time.